Hi guys and welcome to Strength Universe. What follows is the 100% truth about the origins of the Bloat Lord, which will then be followed by a series of comparisons against some of the best athletes in the world. First test will be against the 2008 Fortissimus champion and 2009 and 10 Arnold Classic champion Derek Poundstone to see who can complete the most pull-ups. athletes weighed almost the same, but who takes the win really comes down to whether you think the winner should be the one who did vastly more repetitions, or the athlete who showed the best form and range of motion. Next up, the bloke lord tested himself against the 2015 IPL Super Heavyweight World Powerlifting Champion Jake Johns in a battle to see who is the best at T-bar rows. Bloat Lord managed an additional repetition with a higher weight, and while his range of motion wasn't as good, I think we need to consider that the weights are physically much larger, and thus extend further away from the lifting point, which effectively amplifies the amount of weight being lifted. Next, the Bloat Lord faced the 2005 World Champion, 2008 Olympic Silver Medalist, and 2010 European Champion in weightlifting, Dmitry Klokov. But in weightlifting or snatches, so I'll leave you guys to decide who you think won the third comparison. Next, a bloke Lord tested himself against a former powerlifter, bodybuilder, model and gladiator Mike the Titan O'Hearn in the seated pin press. Lord comfortably wins the CT pin press by achieving more repetitions with a higher weight while using a similar range of motion as Mike O'Hearn. For the fifth comparison, the Bloat Lord will be up against a 2021 New York Pro and Arnold Classic champion Nick the Mutant Walker.
Despite using some hip drive, the lateral raise is another comfortable win for the bloke lord, who manages nearly double the weight for a similar amount of unassisted reps. Next, the bloke lord tests his strength against a seven-time world arm wrestling champion, Levan Saganashvili, to see who has the strongest arms with the cheek curl. Although the bloke lord appears to use more momentum on the concentric phase of the lift and less control on the eccentric phase, I still think that the cheat curl brings him another victory. For the penultimate comparison, I thought we'd mix things up a bit by comparing the bloke lord with YouTube creator Melvin Jeffrey, who specialises in old school lifts and achieves some very impressive numbers, pulling 300 kilograms in a behind the back deadlift and 180 kilograms in a full searcher from the floor. You can check out Melvin's channel by following the link in the description. The searcher squat seems like another victory for the bloke lord, but if we consider that Melvin's body weight is only 75 kilograms compared to the bloke lord who's close to 200 kilos, who do you think should take the win? Finally, the bloke lord takes on the 16-time professional wrestling champion and actor John Cena to see who can squat the most. The result of the final comparison depends on whether you favour John Cena's better form and range of motion or the bloke lord's higher weight and more repetitions. For me, considering his many injuries, I would consider this one a draw. Well that brings me towards the end of this super serious comparison, but I'd love to hear your opinion so please leave a comment below letting me know who you think won overall. I've left links to all the athletes' social media in the description below, so please check that out and give them a follow. And finally, if you enjoyed this video, please help support my channel by hitting like, sharing the video, and subscribing. Thank you.